this is a release technique for your uh, predominantly your pec minor okay using a massage ball so what you'll see in a sec is i'm going to go onto my front i'll do a bit of talking on this first so you can hear what i'm saying i'm going to go on the front and try and get this ball into part of pec minor okay so when we're thinking you've got pec major the big muscle sat on top then you've got pec minor which is ribs three to five and up to something called the coracoid process so it comes up into the crease of the shoulder and kind of sits something like this where my three fingers are when when i go onto my front what i've done is i've given myself a little towel just so i've got something to rest my forehead on and i'm going to bring the ball into that area I've going to have my arm slightly up and then relax on and I'm going to roll in there until I find a painful point. And when I've found that, I'm just going to hang out on it and you would hang out on it for 30 seconds to two minutes and see if it releases, okay? The alternate version, which is a bit more active, is we'll do exactly that. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that painful, like most painful point, I'm going to come just above it and then I'm going to be lifting my arm. So it will be a lock by resting onto the ball, a stretch by lifting the arm, holding for two, and then releasing off. Okay, but if the painful point's here, I'm going to go to here. So as I lift my arm, I'm going to drag the dysfunctional tissue onto the ball. So it's going to look something like this. So I'm going to lie on my front. And I'm going to get my spiky ball and I'm going to bring it onto my chest just before the crease of the shoulder. And there we go. Put my arm slowly up. And across a bit. And then I'm just going to roll about in this area. I would have my head down, but you wouldn't be able to hear me. And roll about this area until I can find that painful area, that painful point, and then I'll just relax onto it. So you're not really, you're just using your body weight to come down onto it and just relax. And just hold it there for 30 seconds to two minutes to see if the muscle will just release through that pressure from the ball. If I want to get a bit more active with it, I'll find that point, which is just about there. I'm going to bring the ball slightly out to the side from it, and now, so my head will be down. I'm going to lift my arm up. So I apply the lock by putting my body weight onto the shoulder. A stretch by lifting my arm up. I'll hold one, two, and then release. And then repeat. Lock, stretch, one, two, release. You do three to four of those and then go back to resting on it you may find it dissipates a lot quicker um, but try either method see what how you get on with either one they're both very good so either i'll just onto the point relax let the ball do its work just have your arm just up hands sort of ear height and if it isn't budging bring the ball slightly towards the shoulder Lean on to it for the lock, lift your arm for the stretch, hold for the two seconds, and then release and repeat. And that's, and that's your pec minor with a spiky ball.